Hi guys, welcome Ender, welcome back to the channel. Jay DaVinci here with a styling video. Today we're actually gonna be styling Jordan 1s. However, we're gonna be trying the TikTok viral jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. When I was like younger growing up, I could not afford anything from Abercrombie and Fitch. So these jeans are a little on the expensive side. They're like $90. So I'm gonna let you guys know my overall thoughts on whether or not I think that they're worth the hype. I'm gonna also show you guys how to style some Jordan 1s. And I'm super excited to bring fashion over to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe and let's hop straight into this video stop playing with Jada Vinci and his bitch okay. I'm so bad I got him twerking with me and his bitch the first pair of jeans that I got are Abercrombie and Fitch the 90s straight ultra high rise these are what they look like Okay, they're just long as you guys can see I kind of have them cuffed for me I've been looking for a good pair of jeans that just kind of make me look nice make me look a little cinched in and that drag to the floor I haven't been looking for jeans that have rips in it because I have way too many of those but these are the 90s straight and I got them in a size 30 which is a 10 regular my normal size okay so when it comes to styling what Jordan should we wear I think the Jordans that will go with today we're gonna go with these Jordans. When it comes to these jeans, they are actually really nice. They fit perfect. Get whatever your normal size is. I'm a 30. People are like, measure your waist. I don't know that. I know that I'm typically a size 10. I used to be a size 14. I recently lost a bunch of weight, so now I'm in a size 10. The next jeans that I'm gonna show you guys, we range from a 29 and a 28, so ah, crazy, crazy, crazy. But these jeans are so perfect. I think every woman, guy, if you're into like women's jeans, needs these. They're just the perfect fit. They feel so good. I love how they're not too tight you know what I mean like they're not too tight yet they're still super flattering I just paired it with the little skim I'm gonna link everything below including the hat the bag in case you guys are interested but I love these pants I think that they're super cute are they worth the hype I think that they are I think that they're worth having I think that you'd be a happy camper with these jeans and they're just something that you can dress up you can dress down you can wear a graphic tee these are going to be my everyday jeans because they're just so comfortable and I just love the way they look love the way they fit love the way they feel I'm super happy that I got these in a size 30 30 and not a 29 and or 28 because they just fit perfect so let me show you guys the next pair of jeans right, still from Abercrombie and Fitch they're the dad high-rise jeans I actually picked these up in a size 28 because when I was reading the reviews people were like oh if you don't want oversized jeans then definitely size down get two sizes down so I got a 28 and I was so skeptical because these jeans are mad expensive and I'm like um I want to be able to wear these jeans you know what I mean like I'm not trying to buy jeans that I'm like oh eventually I'm gonna lose weight eventually I'm gonna be able to fit them no these are what the jeans look like they actually have buttons that that surprised me because who wants to be button and buttons but this is the kind that has that little uh, like V crisscross shape As you guys can see they're super long and then the bottom I just have like a little straight cuff I actually got the long pair of these um, I got them in a 6L which is a 28 I'm gonna show you guys what these look like we're gonna try to base an outfit around these and then I will be back to show you guys and I think we will go with some unreleased off-whites we're gonna style these so I'm gonna go put the whole outfit on come back let you guys know the jeans whether or not I like the jeans my thoughts on the jeans and the sizing so outfit change Oh my god brb when it comes to the second pair of jeans definitely size down i sized down twice you guys saw the first pair got a size 30 second pair got a size 28 and even though they fit nice and snug they're very stretchy i can do the megan the stallion challenge in these jeans and my jeans not rip you know what i mean they're very comfortable even though it's kind of some tucking to get up when they're up they're super comfortable it doesn't feel like anything i'm gonna get a yeast infection in when it comes to the ootd i just put on this zara shirt got an ny hat on I got my Louis Vuitton barrel these yellow off-whites so I think that this is a very practical outfit for me I love these jeans like I said and they're so comfortable I definitely think that you need to size down when it comes to these jeans I think that you'd be a very happy camper so are these worth the hype very much so I think that these are worth the hype I also picked these up I think I lucky picked these up in a, a long because what I don't want or what I never look for is for my jeans to be flooding I got way too many jeans that are already flooding 
looking that I'm not looking for any additional jeans to flood especially when they're like $90 with tax like $100 <laughs> you know what I mean so I always click L because they're not even that long it's not like the Zara jeans so the last pair of jeans that I got I picked up another pair of the dad high-rise the ones that I have on now but I got these in a size 29 the ones with a little V I think that these are so cute definitely very flattering they're super long I think when styling these, let's keep it simple. Let's wear some Travis Scott lows. Travis Scott lows. So you guys are gonna see how these ones fit because the ones that I currently have on are a size 28. These are 29. So they're still super stretchy. Definitely worth the hype. Let me show you guys what these black ones look like on because they are just so cute. So guys, when it comes to this last pair of jeans, I kept it real thug-like. <laughs> I have on a beanie with some glasses, a HBA polo tee, and then the jeans and some Travis Scott lows. When it comes to these jeans in particular, they're the same as these jeans, but uh, different sizes. I do think that this denim blue material is a little more stretchy. Uh, so the fact that I got these in a 29, I think that if I would have gotten these black ones in a 28, they probably would have been too tight to actually like be comfortable in you know what i mean but i love the size that i got in these 29s is it worth the hype it totally is i actually haven't seen anyone on tiktok with the black pair so i kind of had to get it because i love black i'm a sucker for black i'm always in black they all are my favorite i feel like they all are just different these two blues they're pretty close in blue but this one is a more light wash and these 90s are a little more like blue blue definitely jeans that you need you know what i mean so when it comes to the abercrombie and fitch jeans they're lit i think that you can pick them up like if you can pick them up pick them up if you can pick them up on sale even better abercrombie and fitch has a ton of sales if you randomly go on their website they might have like a 40 percent off here and there and then i think that you'd be even more of a happy camper because they sell out so fast and typically when things sell out the shit is lit and i'm so happy that i have three pairs that i could afford to get three pairs and i have a wide range of color when it comes to the jeans i personally wasn't looking for any pair of jeans that have the rip in the knee because i have way too many jeans like that i've just been looking for a nice classic pair of high-rise jeans that just hug my body well looks so nice and just makes me feel good you know what i mean because with fashion it doesn't matter what you put on it's how you feel and how it makes you feel so if you wanted to wear something out of the norm that is technically not socially acceptable and people aren't wearing it and it makes other people feel uncomfortable they're like oh i would never wear that but it makes you feel just at your best self do it wear it yolo you live once and i think that if you guys picked up these abercrombie and fitch jeans you'd be happy so yeah i hope you guys enjoy today's video i did it a little differently i decided to throw some sneakers in there that i have had so many people have been asking me to do more styling videos i hope that this was sufficient i will continue to improve when it comes to my cameraing skills because it's just me one happy camper over here doing it all by myself don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll catch y'all in my next video bye if another motherfucking bitch try to try me they gonna have to find me they gon' be on an IV, I'ma have them on the run like Jan Beyonce.